Okay, next topic is uh, expanding the memory capacity. Uh, in uh, many memory application, the required RAM or ROM, memory capacity cannot be satisfied by one memory chip. Instead, uh, several memory chips must be combined to provide the capacity or the word size. Uh, meaning that sometimes uh, we need more capacity okay, uh, to perform our application but uh, the capacity of memory that we have is not uh, it cannot fulfill uh, our requirement so that's why we need to uh, add uh, more uh, memory chips okay? uh, suppose uh, that we have uh, suppose that we need a memory that can store 16 times 4 bit uh, but uh, what we have is only 8 times 4 bit chips okay? uh, meaning that uh, the capacity uh, that we need is actually uh, up to uh, 64 bits okay? 64 bits which is uh, 16 times 4 okay? uh, 64 bit okay? but uh, the capacity that we need uh, sorry the capacity that we have only 32 bit Okay, because the memory that we have, uh, the size is 8 times 4. Okay, 8 times 4. Okay, so how we can fulfill the requirement that we need, which is 64 bit. So we can combine uh, these two chips, which is 8 times 4 bit uh, chips. So we can expand the memory to 16 times 4. Okay, so uh, first thing that you need to know is actually how many chips that you need to have to make sure that we can fulfill our requirement okay based on the memory capacity that we have and also based on the capacity that uh, we need okay to expand okay so for this example uh, this is actually what we have okay 8 times 4 chip okay, but uh, we need to expand to 16 times 4 okay so how we can uh, determine the chips Okay, the number of chips. Okay, uh, you just uh, divide okay, the capacity of uh, you need okay, by the capacity of you have. So the capacity uh, of you need is uh, 16. Okay, times 4. Okay, so you just divide by 8 times 4. Or you can uh, change to the capacity in bits, which is this one is 64. Okay, divide by 32 okay. so uh, you will get two okay two chips okay two chips uh, so meaning that we need to have uh, two chips of 8 time 4 so that we can expand to the memory of the 16 time 4 okay. so this is the uh, the step okay, that you can use to determine the number of chips so other step which is the the easiest one is actually you just divide the, the first value. Okay, so this is the first uh, step. Or you can use the second method. Okay, you can use the second method. Okay, because the the word size for both memory is actually uh, the same size, right? Uh, 4. Okay, so here you have 4. Here also you have 4. So you just divide by the first value, which is the... Uh, total of your location your memory location so in this case you just divide 16 divide by 8 okay so 16 divide by 8 so you will have uh, the same numbers which is two chips okay so the first step okay uh, or the first method you can use if uh, the the word size is uh, not the same of word size okay so you can use the first uh, method okay? but most of the time uh, the memory that you need and the memory that you have is actually uh, have the same uh, word size okay? uh, and then uh, most of the time we can use the second methods okay you just divide the first value which is the the value of your memory locations okay? so that is your first step okay you need to define uh, the number of chips okay so you can expand to the capacity that uh, you need Right. So, uh, when you expand the capacity of the memory, so of course the diagram of your memory will be different, okay? Uh, with the memory that you only have one memory, but now you need to have more than one memory. For our example, we need to have two memory, 
Okay, we need to have two memories. So this is actually the diagram. Okay, showing you that the expanding memory capacity. Okay, the memory capacity that have been expanded. Okay. So um, based on this diagram, you have four input line and also four output line for both memory. Okay, so now you have uh, two memory tips. Okay. And um, of course, you have a RW line. Okay, so this RW line must be connected to both memory. Okay, to both memory. And then, uh, for this memory, the total capacity of this memory is uh, 16 times 4, meaning that you have 16 different L, uh, addresses. Okay, 16 times 4, meaning that you have 16 different addresses or 16 different uh, locations. Okay, so based on the, the 16 different uh, location, okay, you need to have a 4 address line. Okay, 4 address line because you need to convert 16 to the formula or the, met, the format of 2 power of n. Okay, so when you format, uh, you change to the format of 2 power of n, so that's why you will get the value is uh, 4. Okay, 4 uh, address line. Okay, so uh, based on this uh, diagram, it shows you that uh, you have uh, 4 address line which is 3 address line, so you have 3 address line here. Okay, so 3 address line, okay, uh, here is 3 address line. Okay, use to uh, select, okay, the location inside the memory. And then another uh, the 1 address line, so this also an address line. Okay, S, K and A. Okay, you have 3 A and then S. So 1 address line uh, used uh, to select the memory chip because now you have 2, uh, two chips, right? You have two chips so um, to select the memory chip you need uh, one address line okay, for this example okay so this address line okay so this address line used to select uh, which memory chip so how can uh, you select the memory chip so you need to use a decoder okay you need to use a decoder or in this case you also can use a get get not okay uh, why we can use a gate not because not only have two value okay either zero or one okay true or false right okay so that's why when you calculate or determine the number of chip okay for example for this example you have two chips so you can use not gate okay so this not gate uh, will be function as the device that will be select okay that will be select the memory chip okay so um but uh, we also can use a decoder. So you must remember in chapter uh, 6, okay, type uh, of decoder. Okay, well, previously, you have learned different type of decoder, right? Based on number of input and output. So decoder. Okay, so uh, you have 2, 4 decoder, right? You have 3, 8. Okay. Uh, and then you have 4, 10. 416 okay uh, and actually we have another one of uh, decoder uh, which is one two okay one two so how can you determine which decoder that you need to use okay how can you determine which decoder that you need to use in your uh, diagram of uh, memory okay so you need to base on your memory tip okay based on your memory tip and also based on the number of output for your decoder. So, uh, decoder have two values, right? The value on your left is actually the number of input. Okay. And then the value of your right is actually the number of your output, right? So, um, you can choose the type of decoder uh, based on the number of your output. Okay. Based on the number of your output. Okay, because the number of your output is actually referring to the number of chip okay, that you need okay, in your uh, diagram. Okay. So for this example, because we need uh, two memory chip, so that's why uh, we use one two decoder. Okay, because the value of output is two. Okay, if you uh, calculate okay, the number of chips okay, for your application, for example, uh, when you calculate, you need to add uh, four chips. Okay, example, you need to add four chips. 
so that you can expand to the certain amount. Okay. So based on the number of chip, which is four chip, so which type of decoder that you can use? Okay. Uh, so if your uh, chips needed is four chips, so you must remember you need to refer to the value of your output for your decoder. So which which uh, decoder that have uh, four output? Okay, four output for this one. If you have four chips, meaning that you need to choose decoder to four. Okay, decoder to four. Yeah. So you put here. Okay, you put here. Yeah. And then, uh, because uh, in this example, okay, you use uh, two chips. So that's why line here. Okay, you have two line. Okay, and then line. Okay, uh, on top of your decoder is actually representing uh, line ME. Yeah, so you need to remember your basic diagram of your memory. Okay, your basic diagram of your memory, you must must have input. Okay, you must have output. Okay, RW, you must have ME, and you must have address. Okay, you must have address. Yeah. So based on this one, uh, when you draw the, your memory diagram. You need to make sure that all lines uh, is available for your memory for each memory chip. So you have two memory chip here. So this one and this one. Yeah. So based on this uh, memory chip, you have to make sure you have five lines. Okay, five basic lines. Okay. So in this case, uh, you already have uh, input. Okay, you have output line. So this is input line. This is output line, and then you have address line. Okay, and you have RW. So you need to have another line which is ME. Okay. So in this case, because we are expanding the memory capacity, so the line must be connected with your decoder. Okay, so that uh, it, it can choose okay, which decoder, sorry, which chip that you can use to store the data. Okay. So this is the uh, example. Okay. So uh, and then this diagram is actually refer, uh, refer to the full version of memory diagram okay because the line is actually referring to the size of memory okay because your size of memory is actually uh, 16 okay time 4 bit right okay 16 time 4 bit so that's why your input and output data is 4 okay for line here yeah for both uh, memory chips Okay, and then address line. Okay, so when you convert to uh, format of 2 power of n, you will get 2 power of 4. So you need to have 4 line. Okay, so 4 line uh, is actually referring to the line under your memory plus with the line under your decoder uh, that you choose okay, uh, for your memory diagram. Okay, okay 4. 4, okay, this line. Plus with this line A line plus with S line. Okay, so that's why it's four. Yeah, so sometimes student is quite uh, confused. Eh? Uh, when he, he determine, okay, uh, they de determine the number of address line. For example, in this case, you have four. So the student will draw four uh, below of this memory chip. Okay, you draw four here. So you cannot draw four here. Eh? Okay, four is actually including the line under your decoder. Okay. And by logic, okay, you are using 8 times 4. So this memory is actually 8 times 4, right? 8 times 4. So whatever value uh, or line okay, that uh, connected with each memory chip okay, must follow the memory that you have. Okay. So in this case, you have 8 times 4. Okay, so that's why the line for input and output, okay, input and output, is referred to this memory 8 times 4 and then address line here also is actually referring to 8 times 4 okay because the line is connected to 8 times 4 so that's why for 8 times 4 the address line is 3 right because 8 times 4 so 8 when you convert to 2 power of n so you will get 2 power of 3 so that's why the line okay under your memory chips is 3 okay yeah, but how we can get four line? 
yeah. Uh, so as I uh, told you earlier, okay, previous, uh, four is actually this three address line, okay, plus with the one address line under your decoder, okay, ad address line, the line under your decoder and the line under the memory chip, okay, both are representing the address line. So that's why when you refer to your uh, labeling, so this is the address input or address line. Yeah, so 1 plus 3, that's why you will get 4. Yeah. So this is all, uh, for this example. Uh, okay, this is actually the explanation that I explained to you. Okay, uh, so I will explain here. Okay, uh, so this is the simplified memory diagram. Okay, uh, so based on the simplified memory diagram, okay, we can uh, see that uh, you need to have uh, two chips. Okay, because uh, the chip that you have uh, is 8 times 4 bit. Okay, and then you need to expand to 16 times 4 bit, right? So you need to expand. Okay, from 8 times 4 bit to 16 times 4. Okay, so this uh, memory diagram is actually referring to 16 times 4. Okay, so based on this diagram, uh, you have four lines for input and output uh, because the word size is four for both uh, capacity. And then um, you need to have RW. Okay, so one line of RW connected to both memories. And then uh, you need to have a decoder. Okay, so this is a decoder. Okay, so decoder here we need to use decoder 1, 2. So please remember how you can choose the type of decoder. So based on the memory chip. Okay, and also based on the number of output. Okay, uh, for your decoder. So we have several type of uh, decoder, right? Previously, I has, uh, has already explained to you. Okay, so decoder uh, for this example is 1, 2. What mean by 1, 2? So 1, 2 uh, meaning that you have one line below. Okay, uh, it's representing the address line. Okay, so this address line under your decoder is actually used to select which, uh, which type of chip. Okay, which chip that you need to use okay, to store your data because now you have two chips. Okay? So we need one address line to choose the uh, memory chip. And then two uh, is actually referring to ME line, okay, memory enable because your memory must have uh, memory enable line. Okay, so one memory enable line okay, connected to the first chip okay, and then the second memory address line connected with another chips. So the line on top of your decoder is cannot be simplified. Okay? So if the uh, value of your uh, decoder and also your chips is 2, for example, for this uh, diagram, so that's why you need to have two lines for your ME. Okay, for your ME. So that's why you have two lines for your ME. Okay, so this line is actually referring to your chip line. Okay? And then another line here is actually uh, another address line, which is three address line. Okay, so here, okay, you have three address line. Okay, so why we have three? Because uh, the chip that you have is eight times four. So this is a memory of eight times four, right? Okay, when we combine both, so it will become sixteen times four. Okay. And then, because we are using 8 times 4 memory chip, that's why the line, the address line uh, under your chips is actually equal to 3. So, why 3? Because the value of your 8. Okay, 8. Okay, 8 is equal to 2 power of 3. Right, 2 power of 3. So, 3. So, 3 here representing the address line. So, that's why in this example, uh, the line under your memory chip is equal to 3. Okay. So 3 plus with one line uh, uh, under your decoder, so it will become 4 address line. Okay. So for 16 times 4 bits, okay, so you need uh, 4 address line. Okay. 4 address line. 3 used to select location inside the memory chip one address line used to select the memory chip okay uh, 
so uh, this is the table that showing you the uh, the location okay of your memory yeah uh, so as value you have two value k0 or 1 because you have two chips okay and then you have uh, this location which is you have 16 location okay why 16 because we expand to 16 right okay that's why you have 16 location and then for s value you only have uh, one uh, value either 0 or 1 so that's why if you're referring to diagram that uh, you only need one line okay one line again meaning that the value either 0 or 1 okay and then another three address line okay another three address line here okay used to select the memory location in your memory yeah uh, so first when you want to choose zero so s is equal to zero meaning that you are choosing the first memory chip okay and when s equal to one meaning that you choose the second memory chip okay and then each uh, memory chip have their own location so this is the location okay a1 a2 a0 is actually referring to address line that we use to transfer the data okay to the location inside your memory chip yeah. So this is the first example.